Hey everyone, today we're going to be assembling a large butterfly kite. This particular kite is an HQ large butterfly kite. They, there's uh, I think like four different variants of this kite. They all assemble the same way. A lot of the butterfly kites that we sell pretty much assemble the same way. So we want to remove it from the packaging. We're going to get the tails out of the way, separate the frame. Sometimes they get tangled in the bridle. The bridle of this kite actually goes in the front, so we're gonna remove it from the back and place it in the front, or just out of the way. We're gonna start by attaching the bottom set of spreaders into the dihedral. You wanna make sure the dihedral is pointing towards the kite in a V. Some people think that because the other side is smooth that it belongs that way, but a kite won't actually fly that way. Next we're going to place the top spreaders in and then pop the kite in. Assembling this kite is pretty easy. It assembles in minutes. A lot of people think that because of the extra pieces it's a little complicated, but it actually isn't. You want to remember also to remove the rubber band from the tails before you fly. And with this flight spool here, it has a clip, which makes it easy to attach to the actual bridle, which is in the front of the kite. Hook it up and you're ready to fly. This particular kite has an adjustment on the bridle on the top for high winds. It comes in a standard setting, which usually works for most winds that we fly in. If you loosen the knot and bring the loop closer to the bottom knot it's for higher winds the chances of you having to adjust this you know it, it's it's not very common but it is a cool option to have if the winds are really high especially in newport where we fly a lot the winds tend to get pretty strong but for, like i said previously we usually just keep it in the standard setting that it comes in so when you're done flying your kite you want to just reverse everything that we did take off the flying line from the bridle, roll the line back up on the spool, place it to the side. We're going to disassemble it in the reverse of how we assembled it. Here I'm just sliding the tails up to get them out of the way. Remove the bottom spreaders from the dihedral, remove the top spreaders from the V connector. And sometimes there's a little resistance. People think that they're gonna break the kite or snap the frame. That's not the case. You do have to apply a little pressure to get that out. And then I just straighten everything out, fold it up in towards the center, and just roll it up a little bit to keep it pretty compact and just slide it right back into the packaging. These are one of our favorite kites. We sell a lot of them. They're excellent for beginners, for people who've been flying for a long time. They're a large butterfly kite with long streaming tails. They fly in just about any wind. We really put these kites to the test and you know, customers are always satisfied. I place this flight spool back into the packaging and then you're ready to go. This, this kite has a low pull. It looks beautiful in the sky. And if you're looking for a kite, you can find us at newportkites.com or on Instagram and also on Facebook at Kit Kites. Thanks for watching.